just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. You may be the Master Diviner's guest, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention... Please, don't push your buttons. We're just here for the questioning. We'll leave as soon as it's over. So strange. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? I don't understand, it's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests! Are you really from the Divination Commission? Don't scare me! Master Diviner wouldn't let anything bad happen on her watch. There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Here it is. You seem familiar. Ugh, the Stellaron corrosion. What's going on? Great, this gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Ching Jue for messing up once again. I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss Ching Chi, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Wow, you're amazing, Mr. Yang. You handled that well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate to you. Ugh, anyone here surprised? Anyone? Here comes trouble. Ugh, can't we run around to them for a change? This is the Matrix of Prescience, a large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Ching Chu? A Jade Abacus is just... A Jade Abacus! <sighs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. The book Glimpses into the Beyond describes it as... Living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianzhou Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation, so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Take the Matrix of Prescience here as an example. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything. From the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noos, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. Seems like it, but Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from news. Huh. Even in Madame Herta's space station, I never saw anything related to news. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a Jade Abacus or a computer? Just like today. Would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the Heaven and Thunder trigrams. A step forward bridge is no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen? 
it's an utter disaster. How's that for a Divination Commission fortune? The Matrix of Prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, this year, the boundless omniscient, bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look, help has just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though... Wasn't your order I received. Uh, so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. Uh, would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Jinchue is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. It's nice to have people I can entrust with difficult matters. I'm not like the General, and you don't even belong to my commission. I certainly won't be bossing you around. No need for the formalities. We heard what the General said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well, then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience as space terminals. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Yes, but you needn't worry. You have my permission. Xing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... Psst. <clears throat> I hath divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. What? Which magic word? Ah, <sighs> the universal one? Please? Oh... Ugh... Please... Oh, good enough. It's been a while, my astral guests. Thanks to you, the Law Fu has successfully brought Kafka to justice. I am truly grateful. There hadn't been a single Stellaron Hunter arrest since the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation issued their bounty. <laughs> this is a victory for the Sienjo. Once this is over and the Stellaron curse has been lifted, the Sienjo will have no more use for Kafka. If you wish to claim the bounty, feel free to take her to the IPC. The Alliance has no interest in the IPC's reward. Blade, on the other hand, is a wanted criminal for the Sienjo. He must remain with us. At present, Kafka has no intention of speaking and the Stellaron Hunter's motives remain unknown. We must rely on the power of the Divination Commission to unearth the truth. Unearth the truth? You mean interrogate Kafka with the Matrix of Prescience? Precisely. The Matrix of Prescience is the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon. It was originally used to calculate navigation routes and predict future events. But the secrets of the Stellaron Hunters cannot remain hidden any longer. 
I have no choice but to move beyond conventional protocol. We must use divination to ascertain Kafka's intent. Everything hinges on restoring the Matrix of Prescience, which is why I would like you to help Diviner Fu complete the setup. I am eternally grateful for your assistance. Let me see. This is the Temporal Terminal. Observes the potential of the Temporal Plane. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. That should do it. What? You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Don't you think? Oh, if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. This must be the Karma Terminal. They say this terminal is designed to establish the causal relationships between objects. Done. Next. this? It looks like a walking gate. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the CN Joe. It's an aromaton. It's guarding the Matrix of Prescience. They're stationed at various strategic places. Uh, I feel like it needs a sign saying mortals forbidden or something. Are you sure it won't fly into a rage if we walk past it? We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the Matrix of Prescience. Friends, not foes. Passage prohibited. Uh, March! You should join the Divination Commission! C quick, do something! Yes, time, karma. I bet the next terminal is energy related. Darn, the spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. Did it. All three terminals activated. Let's go back to the core and report to the Master Diviner. Well done, all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient Symbols re-illuminating. Now, to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few... impacts. Are you ready? Is this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny.
you're here? All for that? Well, not what you were expecting. I can't believe it. But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you... It's you! Ha! Absurd! I'd never have thought it! Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the General immediately. Please excuse me. You go ask her. I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Hi. You haven't changed a bit. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to affect your image of me. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them... I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron Hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Two... Someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General, presumably to inform him of this fact. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. As for number three... Even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> if the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? We're here for you. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. 
You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. What do you think? Surprised? The notorious Stellaron hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Sienjo? <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? <sighs> like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the Destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. Hey, Lorcha! Hey, you didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going, it's interesting. So, eons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Xianzhou? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Isn't destroying the Eon Yaosha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Oh, this one? <laughs> it's a casket, more commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long-life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. That's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star's gifts and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyodora, they're 
more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. My mom calls the Vidyadara long scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyadara could turn into dragons. I don't know if that's true. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. Your mother is right. The Vidyadara are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Ah. Huh. I've heard the story of Long the Permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Every life has its limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal, and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? <laughs> yes. A friend? No. So, uh, the sweetheart? <laughs> oh, miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. Mara struck. It looks like someone's hurt. Wait! <laughs> Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> what happened to us letting you handle it? I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. <laughs> the dead return. <sighs> Miss, are you okay? What do you think? Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. My motor is broken. I can't move. Are you a Cloud Knight? Good. Take me to the Realm Keeping Commission. I, uh... Locha, silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Well, it's just... she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission? Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? 
It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. <sighs> huh. Curious. How... Oh, what kind of medical knowledge is this? Abundance. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. We, uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. <sighs> if it hadn't been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. Strange... accident? <sighs> Come with me. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs>